Hello, I'm Francis Collins. I'm currently the director of the National Institutes of Health, but I had the privilege of leading the US part of the Human Genome Project in 1993 until its conclusion in 2003. And oh my gosh, I'm supposed to think of just three things that are legacies of this. <sighs> That's hard because there's so many. What it did for bringing disciplines together, the ELSI program, the training of the next generation, bringing computation into biology in a big way. Oh, but I'm gonna pick three. First of all, it has transformed the way that we do research in biology and especially human biology. Graduate students today can't imagine how we ever did any experiments or learned anything without having access to the human genome sequence with the click of a mouse. Second, it has transformed medicine. Whether you're talking about sequencing the genome of a newborn in the ICU and trying to figure out a diagnosis very quickly that may have life-saving consequences, or whether it's you're applying this to cancer and optimizing the perfect treatment for that person's tumor because you know exactly what the mutations are that you need to go after or whether it's looking at the whole field of precision medicine as we are now doing with all of us. Third, it has transformed our whole approach to open data access. The Genome Project back in 1996 with that meeting in Bermuda, deciding to give the data away every 24 hours, that became the ethical standard and it has spilled over and infected lots of other parts of biomedical research to great good purpose. And Genome, I think, deserves credit for starting that idea that this data ought to belong to everybody and there's no excuse to keep it hidden. So those are my big three. If you gave me another half hour, I could give you another 100 reasons why the Genome Project has left a legacy, but I'll stop right there.